check out this pan. It is a nonstick pan. It does have a removable handle, so you can just unscrew it from here. I'm not going to do it all the way, but that pops off if you need for storage or whatever. Um, you do need to prep it the first time before using it to make sure it works good. So just wash it gently with some soap, clean it up and dry it. And then what we're going to do is just put a little bit of oil in this. And then you're going to want to use a sponge or paper towel or whatever to kind of just rub it all the way around. So just kind of get it all over there. And then we're just going to uh, put this on here at a low heat for about three to four minutes and let that um, all absorb in there. And then we're just going to wipe it down after that. Now that we've let the oil uh, heat up for about three to four minutes, I'm just going to wipe off the excess and then let's give uh, cooking a try and see how well this nonstick pan works. Since I already have it nice and heated up, I'm just going to go ahead and throw my egg on there and give it a try. I like to pre-crack my eggs in bowls because I'm not the best at it and I end up uh, getting a lot of shells in there, so I just dump them in a bowl to begin with. Yeah, let's check back in just a second. I'll show you how it works. All right, so with nonstick pans, you're gonna wanna just gently lift up the edges a little bit just to make sure it's loose. As you can see, it is just easy to move around. It is, now I'm not good at flipping, so you can't judge a pan based on my cooking skills. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't do the flip, but it does work really well. It's very much non-slip or non-stick. Um, I need to work on my cooking skills. So as great as a pan is, it's not gonna make you the best cook in the world.